Hello, in this video I will be giving a tutorial on how to use Pulsar to make a Mario Kart Wii custom track distribution. So the first thing you need is to download Pulsar. Now you will run the exe and an input folder gets created. Open this input folder and in that you will put your custom tracks. These will be for the staff ghosts, the default will be 150 experts, I will go ahead and put some staff ghosts in that now too. I will now close out of these two folders because I don't need them anymore and go back into Pulsar. I'm going to change the cup count to two because there are eight tracks, which means for the, each of the cups that has four tracks, there'll be two. In the settings here, you can turn on regular tracks, turn on trophies for time trials, which will be what the staff ghosts will represent, 200 CC, which will be for the online if you have it enabled online as well as playing for time trials ultra mini turbos which will be on cart a third level of mini turbo that's even faster and lasts longer the feather which is an item that you can use to replace the blooper and having the feather will also allow you to do tricks anywhere that you use the item and finally the mega thundercloud mega thundercloud will replace a regular thundercloud to make it so that you grow instead of shrink you have to choose a Windfire region. You should apply for one online, and otherwise you may end up getting banned on someone else's region. I have my own region of 767, so that's the one I'm personally using. And then track blocking will be if you have your own region and you're trying to play online, how many times before a track can be selected again. So let's say you played Luigi Circuit for the first race. If you set it to two, for two races, you'd be unable to get Luigi Circuit again. The mod folder name, you can set this to whatever you want it as. I'm just going to set this to tutorial because this is the tutorial. But this will be what your pack ends up being named ultimately. You can set the date of your distribution here. Now you can go back to the cups and you can mass import the tracks. The track names is pretty simple. It's just what the custom tracks are named. The track authors needs to be included as well. This is to make sure that everyone is getting credit for the work that they've put in. The version number is optional. I personally do not care to use it, but if you wanted, you could type them in there. Slot is will be the spot that the custom track is going over. So for example, if you were on a track that had ice physics, it would probably be over the ice slot. The wiki will tell you what slot you should use. If you don't know what slot it is and the wiki doesn't tell you anything, Luigi Circuit's usually a safe bet. And then finally, you can choose the music slot. I've gone and done this, but if you're doing custom music, you don't need to worry about this. Just make sure you type in a track name for all of them. Now you can go ahead and actually make sure that there's a file that's being referenced because you have them named in the authors, but there's nothing that these are actually pulling from. So go back to the custom tracks and go ahead and drag them. You might notice that I have 0, 1, 2. The reason for that is because it'll make it a lot easier when you're doing custom music. Just make sure that you start on the number 0 if you're going to do this method. And then finally, if you wanted this to show up as a different color, you can type the slash like this, a C, the squiggly bracket inside, type the color, so red for this one, and then a bracket. To repeat, you're going to hit the slash, a C, the bracket, then a color, which I'll do blue, then you close the bracket. And with this, you should be ready. Unless you, of course, you wanted to do ghosts. And if you wanted to do ghosts, you just have to do the same method of just dragging the ghosts in like that. Once you have done all of that, you can go ahead and create a build and build the full pack. And then you can open up the output folder. You'll see the tutorial here and then a revolution folder here. So go, you're going to want to go ahead and put these into a revolution folder. There are a few ways you can access this, but the easiest is to open up Dolphin Emulator, start with revolution patches, open revolution XML, and copy this file path. And then you can go ahead and open that up in the folder. So I'll go ahead and do that right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out a dolphin just so it's out of the way and move this revolution or move the tutorial into this 
and then inside this revolution you put this tutorial.xml now if you wanted to do custom music as well you can go into the tutorial here and go to the ctbrstm the file naming is going to be really weird and what you're going to want to end up doing is creating a file that's named one underscore n dot brstm i know that sounds weird but i will show you real quick from this one there's zero one two and that'll be what spot it was for that is why I, earlier i had the track that was named with zero the n will be for the first lap f for the final lap i have the custom music uh, tutorial that you can look at if you are confused on how to make a, must, a custom music but i'm going to go ahead and copy these two over just to demonstrate how th there is custom music. Now with this, you've gone and set everything up so you can close out of these and you can open back up Dolphin Emulator. You can once again start it with the revolution patches and you're going to want to find the pack that you've made, so tutorial for this, and you can enable the pack while making sure that everything else is disabled. Once you do that, you can save it as a preset if you'd want, or you can just start to make sure it works. Okay, once you are onto this menu, you can go ahead and just launch the game and make sure that everything worked. You can see that there are now 150, 200, 150 feather, and 200 feather here. And then you can go ahead and select your character. And you'll see that there's now arrows on the side. And you can see that there's these custom tracks as well as the ones that I had named colors having the color here. You can go to this and you can see that there is a staff ghost here. And as you can see, it has worked properly and this track is now loaded. you also notice that uh, the custom music has worked properly as well, as this is not a standard Mario Kart Wii song. Now, let's say that you wanted to have your own time trial ghost be a staff ghost. Well, first what you'll have to do is make sure that you finish racing an entire lap, or an entire track, I should say, on the custom track that you wanted the staff ghost for. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I've now finished recording the ghost, so now I'm going to have to access it. You want to open a folder, you're then going to go to the documents, dolphin emulator, scroll down to Wii, go to shared to, then you're going to go to pulsar, then the folder name, then the ghosts. Now this can be a bit confusing because if you've done more and more, there's going to be more and more weird folder names. So the best way to go about this is to go to the documents, dolphin emulator, then go to load, then you're gonna go to the revolution and then the folder name, and this time you're gonna open up the ghosts here and look at this text document. And this will tell you what the folder name is gonna be for each track. So then you can go back into the dolphin emulator, we shared to pulsar, the folder name and the ghosts, and you can get your ghost data. So then you're going to want to copy this and you're going to put it into the input folder in Pulsar with 150 expert. And you can go ahead and replace the existing ghost if you wanted to put your own one there. Now, if you open up Pulsar again from here, you'll notice that none of your data is saved. That's because it's saved to a config. So if you want to import the config, Go to where you had it in Dolphin Emulator, which for this case was Desktop, Dolphin Emulator, Load, Revolution, the Tutorial. And then you're going to go to the Binaries and Config.pul. And then, as you can see, all of the data from here is saved. And because I kept the ghost name the same, it'll actually create a new staff ghost properly by doing this. So you can then build the new config like this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below.